The deadlift is a widely used compound exercise with weight. It is very effective for increasing strength by activating the largest muscles of legs and lower back. In this video, I'll tell you what will happen to your body if you do deadlift every day. So watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! During the deadlift, all muscle groups are involved, but first of all the legs, or rather the back of the thigh and the back. Also the abs act as stabilizers when performing this exercise. The trapezium and forearms are perfectly loaded, and the hands also receive a good static load. Let's move on to the rest of the deadlift benefits. The deadlift is one of the best exercises for training the hip extensors. These include the gluteus maximus and muscles of the back of the thigh. Research shows that deadlifts may be more beneficial than squats when it comes to training these muscles. However, the barbell squat has other benefits than the deadlift and is also an important component of a balanced training program. Low back pain is a common complaint for both men and women, although there are many causes of this pain, requiring different approaches to treatment. Research shows that for mild low back pain, deadlift can be an effective tool to reduce the symptoms of this ailment. Note that correct deadlift technique with a neutral spine position is critical. Only under such conditions will the exercise not aggravate the pain. However, you should consult your doctor before doing deadlifts as part of your treatment for low back pain. Jumping is one of the key skills, and your ability to jump often reflects your overall lower body strength development. Research shows that the undoubted advantage of the deadlift is the improvement in maximum jumping results. Decreased bone mineral density is a common effect of aging and a serious health problem faced by older people. A large loss of bone mineral density leads to osteoporosis, which greatly increases the risk of fractures in the elderly. A large body of research supports the benefits of strength training in slowing age-related loss of bone mineral density. The localization of increased bone density is directly related to the trained area of the body. In particular, in the area of the muscles that work to perform this movement, the greatest remineralization of bone tissue will occur. Given that the deadlift targets the legs and hips, doing it in combination with other strength exercises can be of great benefit and can be an effective way to reduce or reverse age-related bone mineral density loss. Training of core muscles is a key aspect of a balanced training program. Research has shown that the benefits of deadlifts and other free weight exercises also include activating and straightening the muscles that stabilize your spine, the external oblique, rectus abdominis, and erectors of the spine. Losing weight is a common goal for many fitness enthusiasts. To successfully lose weight, especially through fat loss, you must burn more calories than you consume in a given period of time. Traditional weight loss programs combine dietary changes to reduce calorie intake and physical activity to increase calorie burn. When it comes to effectively increasing energy expenditure through movement, research shows that the benefits of deadlifts are obvious. Strength training with these types of exercises can be one of the most effective methods of increasing calorie calorie burn while reducing the total time spent in the gym. When performing a deadlift, it's very important to observe the correct technique, since the risk of injury is very high. Let's analyze the execution technique. Place your feet hip-width apart, pull your hips back, tilt your body and grab the barbell with both hands. Straighten your chest and shoulders, look forward, tighten your back muscles and arc your lower back, then lift the barbell. When lowering the bar, move your pelvis back, only slightly bending your knees. Make sure that your back is always straight during the deadlift. If you can't maintain this position and you want to hunch over, then you took too much weight. There are also a number of contraindications, for example, problems with the spine, knees, and so on. In addition, the deadlift put a lot of stress on the cardiovascular system and not recommended for people with high blood pressure or heart disease. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now. See you soon!